All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this Pro Photo. Um, it's an Air Remote TTL C. So, first, what you want to do is remove the batteries. So, I'll just open that, take out the batteries. Hopefully, this will remain in view. So, to pop the case open, you need um, a thin pry tool. I use this. So you want to start towards the top, and um, as you can see, there's actually some clips on the bottom here. So these, um, you have to kind of be careful when you're prying it open. But basically, you pry it here. So if you pry towards the back, you'll see that the tool can go underneath. Um, so you'll want to go towards the sides, on both sides here, and then just pry it like that, okay? Pry it like that. Okay, so once you get that, you'll see that there's the two clips right there and there. Okay, so these two clips um, you'll get out by kind of just pulling on it, but you have to kind of be careful. So pull it slowly and wiggle it. Be careful because there's wires underneath. And um, also these metal um, battery contacts are going to slide through the case, okay? So be careful not to twist it too much, but you kind of just keep wiggling it and pulling it. Okay, just like this. All right. Okay, and once you wiggle it far enough, it'll actually open and separate like this. There's a connector here on the bottom. So to remove that, you just use your fingernails or pry tool. Or if you don't have fingernails, you can, um, it's more risky, but you can pull on the wires and just wiggle it side to side. So I just keep alternating which side I'm pulling with my fingernails. I just keep doing that and the connector comes out just like that. Okay. So under here, there's this board that you can remove. So to remove that, um, the board is towards the bottom here only. So what you do is you kind of wiggle this as well. So pull up a little on this side, then pull up a little on this side and just keep alternating slowly. Um, kind of wiggling it. You can also wiggle it this way back and forth this way and it'll come out just like that Okay, actually, it's easier to wiggle it this way and pull it out Okay, so that's how you remove that Then what you want to do is remove the three screws under here. Um, it uses a t8 Screwdriver bit. So just remove the three screws Okay, one Two Three. Okay, once you remove those three, be careful because there's this cable here. Um, to disconnect the cable, you can see there's a little groove there. I don't know if it's in focus or not. Yeah. So what you do is you just get your fingernail and kind of pull on it. Be careful not to pull too hard, but pull on it. If you can't get that, there's also the sides that you can kind of... Oh, sorry, it's getting out of view. But if you can't pull that, there's also the side edges that you can pull. Sorry. Okay. So you can pull that as well, just like that. Okay. Just pull both sides, just like that. And then this cable, leave connected for now. But once you got the three screws, you can flip it over, just like this. Okay. And then just lift off the cover. Okay. So this little piece will come out with it. Um, just make sure when you put it, put it back in this piece so you don't get it mixed up so just grab it and then flip it over and put it back in there okay so when you put that back you're gonna want to put this side first but you're gonna have to hold on to the screen so that cable that we released here um it's it's for this screen the display so to remove that it's not really holding with held in with anything it just has some little um pegs that hold it onto the board um it's not really on there tight so be careful you don't drop it so just lift it up like that, okay? As you can see, it just comes out. And then you can actually wiggle this and pull the cable out from this piece, okay? So just be careful with it. Okay, so you can wiggle this and it should come out. Oh, I guess I have to grab it here, okay? So just grab it like that, all right? And you got the display, okay? Then you can see all these little buttons here. So this one, it got some corrosion in the buttons somehow. 
Um, it looks like it's fixed now. Um, I had to use um, vinegar and a Q-tip. And then after that, I used um, rubbing alcohol to kind of dry it out and rinse it out. Okay, so as you can see, you got all these little buttons just like that. All right, and that's pretty much completely disassembled. So to clean this, what I did was um, I took one of these Q-tips um, and then I just dipped it in vinegar and then I just poked it poke the button with the vinegar covered q-tip to get the vinegar into the button um, as long as you're not putting power to it and stuff and you clean it up afterwards then it's okay you don't need to worry about the vinegar getting everywhere but yeah just keep poking it with the vinegar and letting the vinegar soak in um, once you do that you can dry it up with a paper towel make sure you get all the liquid out and then repeat the process but with rubbing alcohol if you can 91% um, just to make sure it's not like introducing more water and stuff that will slowly corrode the stuff again. So after you do that, um, use rubbing alcohol, do it a couple times, make sure it kind of flushes out all the vinegar and then dry it up again with the paper towel. If you have like a, um, air compressor or a blower, um, you can probably even use like the computer air cans. They're not as good but once you dry it all up with the paper towel you can just blow it or you can just blow on it with your mouth um but right now there's the corona and stuff you don't want to get it like bet your germs on it but <laughs> yeah um but other than that that's pretty much it um after i did that it looked like it started working again um so just be careful with the internal components make sure you don't break anything um, i'll show you how to reassemble it now because it's a little tricky with these um bottom clips here so do the screen again, make sure the screen's going to get all fingerprints on it most likely when you handle it unless you're like wearing some gloves or something so make sure to clean that off too. You can clean that off with a tiny bit of rubbing alcohol but to be safe um, I would probably just um, slightly wet um, a piece of paper with the rubbing alcohol, make sure to squeeze it so it's not dripping anything out and then you can just rub it off. Okay, so here's what you do. Um, plug, you'll have to plug this in first. Okay. Just put that, slide that in. I don't know if it's going to focus, but slide that back in. Okay. Just like that. You're going to have to use this little blue tab and use your fingernail to kind of pull on it to get it to go in. All right. Just like that. All right. Once it's in all the way, um, then you just pull the, um, this latch thing back down. Okay. So make sure it's completely latched. All right, after you do that, make sure it's sitting in place. All right, I'm gonna clean the screen. Okay. Wipe the screen. Try not to get the liquid into the sides of the screen because it can get um, dirty. Um, I found like a cotton cloth works, or if you have like a cotton shirt, you can just wipe it with your cotton shirt. Okay, so there you go. It's a lot cleaner. And then again, you're going to have to kind of, um, well, I guess you can't flop each on the other because this one, the screen might fall, and then this one, that black piece might fall. So you just put them like horizontal like this and then sandwich it together. Okay. Just like that. Once you got that, put the screws back, of course. All right. Okay. Try to make sure the screws go in straight because if you put them at an angle, you can damage some stuff or you can damage the mounting posts for the screws. Last screw. If it's not going in straight, just twist it backwards a bit and then line it back up and then screw it back in. Okay. All right. Once you got the three screws back in, then you just put this piece on top. All right. 
make sure line it up and then just push it down okay both sides this side has a little peg that goes in through the hole so make sure it lines up properly okay now you got all the pieces together then you got to put this connector back on I don't know if I'll be able to show that part on camera but let's see just line it up and then use your fingernail to push it back in just like that okay then you got that you probably want to open this so you can see um, you'll want to line up the bottom part first I don't know if you can see this but you'll have to do it at an angle because if you try and just sandwich it straight on these clips aren't gonna go into the proper um, the route routed properly into the holes so put it at an angle like this okay make sure that the clips are going in and then when you're sure that they're going in you can slowly wiggle this down okay see now it's actually holding with the clips and then slowly wiggle it down just like before when you were opening it up okay make sure that the battery pins are going in properly this one's kind of a little misaligned so gotta fix that okay so make sure the battery um, spring parts are going in the slots and then once you got all of that you can snap in the top just like that okay and then make sure the bottom's all snapped in and you're good to go put the batteries back in okay just like that and just like that all right and then test it and you can see before those buttons weren't working properly this one was just like skipping sometimes it wouldn't work um, like one press sometimes would act as like two or three and then this one wasn't working at all but after cleaning it up it works perfectly so that's pretty much it hope this video helped you if it did um, please help me by liking and subscribing and thanks for watching bye